myself Praveen Vishwakarma. I am working in Thakur Institute of Aviation Technology since 2006. Currently, I am working as a training manager in Thakur Institute for all the national aviation approvals like DGCA, YASA, GCA, BCA and CAB Bangladesh. Talking about Thakur Institute of Aviation Technology, it was established in year 2006. Initially, we were approved by DGCA, which is our local authority. We were approved to carry out training for category B1.1 in year 2006. In year 2007, we were been approved to do training in B2 category. Subsequently, in year 2008, we were also been approved to carry out training in category B1.3, which is helicopter turbine. So Thakur Institute currently is the only institute within India which has been approved by five national aviation authority. In year 2015 by YASA, which is European Union Aviation Safety Agency. In year 2021, we were also been approved by GCA, General Civil Aviation Authority from UAE. And then later on, we were been approved by BCA, Bhutan Civil Aviation Authority and Civil Aviation Authority of Bangladesh. So when it comes to placement, Thakur Institute of Aviation Technology, after COVID-19 pandemic, our all the students, approx 98% of them, they have been placed nationally and internationally. When I speak about DGCA students, they have been placed in AISL and Indigo Akasa Air through Campus Drive. And when it comes to YASA students, all of these students have been placed nationally, internationally. Most of them have been engaged with Singapore MROs Airlines and few of them they have been placed in European countries as well, followed by Middle East countries. Why to choose TIAC as an AME institution is because we have more than 18 years of experience in the field of aircraft maintenance engineering, followed by a world-class infrastructure facility. TIAC was been also awarded by MRO Association of India as one of the best institutions within India and TIAT has tie-ups with all the leading MROs and airlines within India for imparting actual environmental training as well as OGT.